series that's a good question did you know that this book because America is a Christian country rest and probably 90% of all Christian homes did you know that out of those 90% maybe 1% of the people can read can tell you that they read all 66 books maybe Maybe less than that can tell you what the 66 books mean. That's incredible, <laughs> considering that we're resting our salvation on where we're going to the next place, uh, based on theology from, from thousands of years ago. That's why I did uh, these pieces. Uh, I, was sitting, I was sitting down one day, and, and a voice came to me. Yeah, I'm not crazy. The <laughs> voice came to me and God and said, I gave you these talents and use them to amplify yourself. I gave them so you can amplify me instead. So uh, he tasked me. He said, I want you to make a pictorial Bible. Some of them will be traditional scenes. Uh, that's because I'm, I'm not a commercial artist. I paint what I feel. Uh, fortunately, I just came from six months in Israel, so uh, uh, I can pretty much tell you, uh, at least from a historical point of view, uh, Jesus is on. Again, to continue on with that, that great question you asked me, it was fascinating. Uh, when I was in Israel, <laughs> Jews don't believe that Jesus is Messiah. Well, I mean, we read the first five books, uh, and we, we know that. Uh, I talked to a pastor about that, and a pastor uh, that I knew, and they said, well, those people, that's what they think. I thought that was kind of humorous to me, and I said, those people are, <laughs> are the people that that, uh, that Jesus came from, and, and, and uh, we as Christians, that's who we, we hope to serve with. It was, it, was, it was absolutely fascinating to go to all these places, including the place, uh, uh, the Temple Mount, that you have the Arabs and the Jewish people there, and, and see the symbolic celebration of Jewish and Hebrew faith <laughs> without Christ in it. I mean, in fact, I mean, you almost think you're going to get mobbed <laughs> if you mention it. The, the fact that uh, Jesus was anything. Interesting. You should you should ask that question, girl. <laughs> I'm an artist. Uh, I'm an African American artist. Um, but I, like most artists, hate to be confined, put in a box. You know, painting what's popular. In order for me to make these people, these pictures absolutely sound and correct, I had to go back. I actually went there. I did some studies. I did research. It's a collage of, you know, just different depictions of the crucifixion. Often everybody says to me that this picture is extremely dark. Tim, it's extremely dark. I said, well, it was an extremely dark period. <laughs> you know, I can't see Jesus getting getting crucified as a, as a glorious day. It wasn't. You know, it depicts uh, Pontius Pilate. That's, that's asking uh, even the Jewish people, who do you want? You want Barabbas or you want Christ? I mean, whether it's the Roman soldiers mocking Jesus, being led from the tomb, the Last Supper, uh, the, act, the archangel that stands over here. And then as the picture lightens up, as you see, as it lightens up, is where Jesus ascends to St. John. Uh, most artists call it as he ascends up into heaven after being crucified on the cross. I've heard a lot of people say that his graphic has blood in it. <laughs> uh, I guess people don't like 
the shock factor of Ted Presley crucified. I can only imagine what what Jesus went through on the cross that day. For us. Also, you see the other picture here is a picture of Jesus' birth. I mean, I did them in series because it was so much. Pan back this way a little bit. Uh, I did them in series because it's so much. I mean, if I have to paint the whole entire Bible, I will be painting forever. <laughs> six or six books, numerous stories. How do I get all the important ones told so I said hey I do it in a collage form in some senses when you come through and I did the same here if you look at this is Jesus discipleship where he has all his disciples and some of the miracles he performed for a short 33 years here on earth a fragile place running on what is what are my re religious views I'm a Christian. Uh, I believe uh, in the Trinity. God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I believe that all Christians that serve Christ and believe in their hearts that Jesus Christ is the Son and Savior, the living God, are going to have a place in heaven if we do what we're supposed to do, what we're called upon to do on this earth. Now, I think the world has managed... <laughs> to substitute perfection for Christianity. Uh, they're not synonymous. Or they've managed to find a way to say, well, you're judging me when you hold people accountable for actions or behaviors that Christians typically have. Judging? Yeah, me. That's a term for discussion next time in my next video. Holding you accountable and holding myself accountable? Absolutely. 100% yes. Absolutely. If you run into me, that's my religious view. My religious view is that God asked me to believe in him, to save souls, to feed people when I can, to help people, to spread the truth unblemished, and know that I may have to die for my view one day as the world becomes less and less tolerant for Christians, although it looks for more tolerance. <laughs> That's a funny thing. That's an oxymoron. I believe that uh, this is one of the paintings I did. It's called The Four Horsemen. When, when, uh, when the end of the world's coming near and, and you get the four horsemen that's coming through and you know the battle will end up in Armageddon and you're going to have pestilence and that means people are suffering, and you have famines and wars and rumors of war. People say, you know, we're in those times now. Is that true? Do we have better mass media? That's a good question. But the Lord God said that when he comes back, all the world would know him. That would be pretty possible today with the Internet. When I think about it, I see tribesmen in Africa hanging out on camels with cell phones trying to reach somebody in America and stuff. So if you really think about it, those are my religious views. My religious view is that I'm a Christian and you choose to serve God in whatever capacity, teaching, mentoring, helping, and as you draw near, you'll never be perfect. But I absolutely guarantee if you commit and allow Jesus to lead your life, you make better choices. Excellent question. Uh, what, what are my future ideas of work? I'm going to spread this. Okay. Until, until I'm gone. That's what I believe in. I would spread the gospel. I mean, people can, can, can uh, criticize and say what they want to say. I mean, I really don't care, really. I mean, you can look at the decay in the world today, and, and, and it goes without saying. This is a painting I did, one I call Broken Promises, uh, where I talk about the difficulties of um, this marriage. I've been married, I've been together with uh, your mother, my aunt, my son. <laughs> I've been together with my wife for 22, 23 years. There's been some tough times, ups and downs, but uh, I'm a... I'm, I'm a solid person for some of the, the challenges we had, and uh, Lord knows neither one of us are perfect, but uh, we did say better.
better words, right? I'm going to write some of these. I'm going to do books. I finished a book called Humble Beginnings. That's about poems and, 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 and just artwork outlining just the African American culture. And I want to give something back. I learned from the people that, that came before me in the 60s. And I want to give something that, like that back. I'm working on my second book. Just Over the Horizon is the title. I think it's called Just Over the Horizon, uh, if you will. And it's going to be a pictorial, if you will. Pictorial of, uh, as you can see, it'll be illustrated, rather. So I'm working on that, the illustration of this. It should be out sometimes uh, next year. What I really want to do to summarize and answer your question is to paint, create, because artists record times and periods in life. We are. We are the ones. Songs, date, events, and times. I mean, people remember what song was saying during 9-11. They'll remember what painting uh, came out, what artwork, what art form was popular. I am like the strives of the Hebrew days. Yeah, that's it. A scribe. I record history. I pass along wisdom and I take all of the knowledge and all of the experiences I had in my life over the last 17 years and pass it on to the next generation. It's the thing that Bill Cosby was talking about when he said finally at 70 he can tell us what he really feels. At 50, I am change. I'm the change. Each and every person my age that grew up in that should be the change right now. We have to mentor our young brothers and sisters. That's my final comment. My final comment is we live in the greatest country in the world and sometimes you have to leave outside your backyard to realize how great this country is. You know, a lot of people come to me and say, you've been to 120 countries around the world and you've seen things and they think, and that's not the most important thing to me. It's, it's just the integrity of life, the integrity of life. I'm not perfect. I've experienced things I can, but as you transition and go through life, you have to change, you have to develop like a butterfly. Uh, it, it can't fully develop until it's in a cocoon, it goes through its modification, it comes out, spreads its wing. It knows it's only going to be around for a little bit, it goes, it finds a, another mate, it starts the process again. That's what we must, we must understand. When I say we, I particularly reach out to young African American brothers and sisters. I mean, I'm just tired of the fighting, the killing, the drama, the, I mean just the social things that we, we look in and feed ourselves every day what we hear visually you know I mean who wants to sit around and hear about a bunch of wives that's fighting uh, how to be this or how to be that what what happened to that barometer that measured the, the moral norm has it shifted no I don't think it shifted I think good sound values never change that's what my mama taught me and I'm 50. I mean, I got everything that, I mean, the Lord has blessed me with more things than I can imagine in the short period of time I've been living. I don't sell drugs. I raise my sons. I love my wife. I'm not perfect. I didn't say I was perfect. I didn't say I made mistakes. But I own up to the fact that people came before me to give me the opportunity. And I vote. Make sure you vote. That's right. Real elect President Obama. Peace. Now some say I'm crazy and I'm acting.